Hey guys, Paul here with PathTech. Many thanks for connecting in if this is your first visit. Welcome back. If you're returning to the channel, it's greatly appreciated. In this video, we'll take a look at a new 10 times carbon fiber tripod that's been dubbed the Mr. Q by Leo Photo due to its innovative design. There are three models in Mr. Q series, which include a 28, a 32, and a 36 millimeter version, giving you some flexibility to meet your specific needs as a great all round use tripod. Its Apex Platform Spider, which is machined from 7075 aluminum, resembles the shape of a Q, which is where the name originates. The new shape is just one of the tripod's many interesting features. The tripod can be used with or without its included center column. I did a video recently entitled Three Must Have Tools, where I showed the MBC20 inverted ball head and how it works with the Leo Photo Magic Arm, but I was really just scratching the surface with that video, to be quite honest. In this video, we'll take a thorough look at the Mr. Q and cover all its features, including a number of accessories that I purchased that work with this new tripod to really set it apart from the competition. To begin with, the Mr. Q is a four section, 10 times carbon fiber tripod that weighs 1.98 kilograms or 4.3 pounds and has a 15 kilogram or 33 pound payload. Without its center column, it reaches 1395 millimeters or 4.6 feet. And with the center column, it extends to 5.5 feet without its LH40 ball head that, by the way, is included with the tripod. The tripod will pack down to 580 millimeters or 1.9 feet without its ball head. So there's no reason you can't use this tripod uh, for travel. But that said, Leo Photo makes a, a wide range of other tripods that you will find are lighter and perhaps better suited to travel per se. My intended use for the Mr. Q is to provide a stable platform for my general around town and in the field content creation use, but I specifically was looking for a unit that had a maximum versatility for mounting accessories like the ones I'm about to show you here. Let's jump in and I'll walk you through this tripod's features and then you can decide if you'd like to add this to your kit. So let's get started with the box opening. No, Paul, not another box opening. No, don't do it. <laughs> the tripod comes in a box. It has a 10 year warranty and there's two plastic sleeves. Bottom line is it's well packed. So let's get that out of the way. Yeah. The case that this tripod comes in is in a single word, very, well, two words, very premium. Um, a little logo on the front. This thing is a really nice uh, looking case. I mean, uh, I was really surprised. It even has YKK zippers with uh, parachute pulls with little uh, Leo Photo logos. Uh, uh, you know, I was quite impressed to be perfectly honest with you. So I thought I would make that point really clear. Um, it's got a nice shoulder strap here. So if you want to sling this thing, over the shoulder you can do that like so and it has another trick up its sleeve in regards to a shoulder strap which i'll show you later in the video uh, so let's get this thing open oops okay so in the bag comes with a little tool kit comes with a set of spiked feet which we would expect from a, P, a premium piece of kit at this price point for sure. And then it has uh, an extension tube. And then you've got the tripod itself. Just stick that out of the way. And of course the ball head is attached to the tripod. So if you're interested in the ball head, I did a review on the LH55 and I'll put a link to it here or maybe here or in the description um, so you can see everything that you want to see about the LH40 ball head it's in my LH50 video the only thing is different is the LH50 is it has a lever lock instead of the dial type but other than that the ball heads are the same so this is the basic tripod and it's four sections right one two three four okay 32 millimeters at the beefy end and I forget what it is at the small end. And you can take these feet off. You can unscrew them and you can screw in the spikes uh, that come included with the tripod. So, so far so good. Now, the first thing I guess I wanted to show you is that 
The tripod is 10 times carbon fiber. I, I have a couple of other tripods that are only eight times carbon fiber, and that's what the standard was back in that, that period. It was about 10 years ago, to be honest. Um, so I'll be doing another video, a comparison video, which is a companion video to this one. So you can look for that one after this video. But first, let's get through the tripod to begin with. So pretty straightforward. Uh, the legs have some unique uh, a locking mechanism, so a little different than what you might be used to. You just pull these out. And, and I'll show you, um, one of the things I like about this tripod is that the legs, when I have the center column installed, the legs uh, collapse right tight against the center column, so it's not a bulky uh, it, it's it's not very wide in circumference, so I really like that feature about this tripod. Now, you can take, in this configuration, I don't have the center column in, so let's just do this for you so you can see. I can go all the way. And I can put this right down to the ground if I want to. So that in itself is quite a handy feature. I'll definitely get some benefit out of that one. Now, I can just fold these back up, and I'm back in business. So let's say that you want to switch out to the center column. Let me see if I can do this so that you can see it. So it, it's really like two or three seconds. I can turn the lever. There's a release button on the back here, and then I can take the head out. I'll press the release button, turn the lever and lock it in, and there you go. And then a quick turn right here, and I can raise the center column. So that really impressed me about this tripod, to be able to switch out the heads in three seconds and no tools. Now, speaking of tools, in the bag, tripod comes with a little, uh, I guess for your keychain, but it has all the hex heads that you will need for any adjustments on the tripod. So it has a little slot screwdriver fitting here. Uh, looks like this thing can be used as a bottle opener. Haven't tried that yet, but we'll give it a shot. So you also get four separate Allen keys, some good, you know, pretty good instructions in the pack, and then some warranty information. Everything you would expect from a premium product. So, So the next thing I want to show you, and that is on your center column here, you have the traditional hook so that you can hang and add some extra weight, give your tripod a little bit extra rigidity if it's a windy day or what have you. So you have that option. Okay, so I'm going to tighten that up like so. Now, the other thing I thought that I should cover, if you want to separate the ball head from its plate, the time to do it, and I'll just take a second here and we'll, we'll pop it in. So let's take this off. So typically this is screwed into here like so, and we'll loosen this, three seconds, take that out, put this one in. I typically tend to forget this, that's why I'm making a point in showing you, is that if you want to separate the ball head from that plate, now's the time to do it, because if you wait until you take this off, and this is tightened on, there's, there's nothing really to grab onto here. So you might want to just do that first. That's typically what I do. Take this out, put it down like so. Okay, then you can put your center column in like that. Tighten it up, put your ball head back on. Snug it down. And now we're ready to look at the first accessory that I want to show you. So the first accessory that I want to show you is this quick detach uh, tripod strap. And this is a real game changer. This is one of the things that I, when I was looking at tripods, this really caught my eye. And so you have a strap and the strap has two button, push the button, you've got quick releases here, and it comes with a quarter 20 fitting, and that quarter 20 fitting fits into the spider on this tripod at the apex, like this. Okay, just give it a little snug up. I'm using these T-tools, they're a little quicker uh, than the typical Allen wrenches, and I really like using these things, they're a little bit faster. 
And so then you can just take your strap here, pop it into the quick release, and then on the leg of your choice, okay, either this one or this one, you can take the other end of the strap, pop it in like this. Now when you close up your legs, and now you'll notice that feature I was talking about earlier, see how the legs come tight to the column so that it's not so bulky? And then you can simply take the tripod, just throw it over your shoulder like that, and so you don't need the bag. And this is typically, so I would have the tripod in the bag if I'm driving to a location to keep it from getting banged up uh, on the trip there. But once I'm there, this feature is going to be great because you can just have this set up like this stuck into your backpack and away you go. So that is one of the killer features I think uh, is a game changer on this particular tripod. But just wait, we'll take a look at the next feature which I think is even better. All right, so the next thing I should bring to your attention is that on the spider of this tripod, you've got a quarter 20 fitting on this side uh, for your shoulder strap, and then you've got a 3 8 16 fitting on this side, and the 3 8 uh, 16 fitting, I'll put a close up here so you can see there's two slots, and the beauty of those slots is this, that the magic arm that you purchase separately, this is not something that comes with the Leo Photo um, tripod just snug that in like so but it has this little dial mechanism here with two latches and those latches fit into the notches here at the 3816 threaded hole so all I have to do now is just take that and thread this in and this is where you might want to use an Allen wrench and just give it an extra snug up. But I can turn this. And so the reason I fell in love with this setup was last year I was doing a lot of tutorials uh, where I had my you know, Sony camera mounted on here a Ninja 5, I needed an iPad mini over here, or some other piece of equipment, and I had no way to mount it on traditional tripods, but now look at this, this is amazing. And so the beauty of this is, is that with the two tabs, it locks it in place, good and secure, you can easily make this adjustment here, and then you can get different fittings for the end of your magic arm. So this to me is just a game changer. And that kind of <clears throat> segues into the next accessory that I'm gonna show you so let's install that now and that accessory is the uh, PC 120 which is an iPad clamp and so I got this uh, it's a really nice uh, well-made uh, machined out of aluminum accessory for mounting your iPad mini uh, or iPhone or whatever fits into it and so you can just take this yeah, let's turn this down make my make a, a little easier for myself and this just threads on like so. There we go. So just give it a snug up like this. The other end opens up. And then I'll just turn this for you so that you can see this. Um, there's a little dial here so you can expand this out. Let me turn this down. There you go. And then once you've got it adjusted to fit, in my case, I'm using an iPad mini or an iPhone. And then on the other end, you can expand this out. So if I'm using the iPad mini, I usually take this thing all the way out to the end. If I'm using the iPhone or something smaller, then I can just loosen this and slide it in and out. But this is great because now I can just turn this and I can be working away doing a tutorial here and I've got my iPad mini right there or what you know Ninja 5 depends on uh, whatever device you have that you want to use. Now another thing that I thought I'd mention because earlier I kind of glossed over it a little bit. What's really cool here is that not only can you have one magic arm but you can also get another magic arm for the other side or anything that fits into a quarter 20 threaded fitting. And so that, to me, this is just a huge game changer. I mean, they're just, um, I'm so happy that Leo Photo kind of brought all this together in, in one uh, concise package. So the next thing that I wanted to show you that I think would be really uh, super value added. And so I'm just gonna turn this. So Leo Photo 
when you mount your strap on here, you get a clasp that is 32 millimeters. So when you buy the uh, shoulder strap kit, you're going to get a clasp, you're going to get this little fitting here, and then both ends have the uh, button plungers on them so you can release it. But you can also get a clasp, and I'm going to put all this stuff into the description for you, all the part numbers. This is a TDC32. And this clasp is a little different. This one allows you to fit an adapter. So let's say you wanted to hook this onto here like so. I can put my two screws in here. And then what I've got is I have the ability to take one of these adapters and I can th thread this into here. Oops. and it locks in securely, just like it does uh, for the magic arm. But then once this is on your leg, you can have other fittings. So if you want to put another magic arm, uh, an umbrella holder, there's just a whole wide range of fittings and accessories that you can mount to this. So, you know, that's one, two, three accessory mounting points on a tripod. And these, uh, Leo Photo calls these clasps. I, I forget I was calling them clamps or something. They didn't know what it was. So they just make sure you refer to it as a clasp and they'll know what you're talking about. But uh, I thought that was really cool. I actually pulled this off. I have another carbon fiber tripod that's 32 millimeters. And I pulled this off just so that I could show you this one feature. So this whole setup here, that I have for the magic arm, I could simply take that and thread it in here. Take this out of the way. I could simply clamp that on there like so. Take this off here and move it to here if I want to. It just depends on your use case, what you're doing. But for me, it was this, you know, all this versatility that really, uh, caused me to pull pull the trigger and basically start taking a serious look at Leo Photo products. So now I'll show you just one more quick thing um, before I wrap this up. Let's say that you have, you know, you, you uh, let's take this off here. Let's take off the, the iPad mini mounting clamp, like so. And you'll notice that the adapter is on here right now is fairly short. If you need to change that out, you can actually take this off. These little screws have Loctite on them. You can pop this off. You can take another fitting, pop it in there like so. So again, depending on what your use case is, you've got a greater versatility. It's just amazing the things you can do with this tripod setup. So now let's say you watched my other video and you saw the MBC20 uh, ball head and you wanted to mount it on this guy here. You can simply stand this up like this. So this ball head, the mount has a 3 8 16 or a quarter 20. To use the, the uh, quarter 20, you take this little adapter plate off like so and then you can thread this right on here and if you watch the video uh, that I put in the link in the description you'll see that I had my uh, Sony camera 50 mil f1.2 mounted on here and the ball head was handling it no problems uh, whatsoever so again just tremendous versatility with this tripod Okay, folks, thanks to the magic of video, I've done a wardrobe change, and I almost forgot to show you one of the most critical things that you need to know for making a decision on a tripod like that. And the question is, is this tripod going to fit me? So I'm 6'2 and shrinking, and so as you can see, I have no problems getting over in shooting like this. I mean, this is what I did in uh, the re a couple of recent shoots. But uh, yeah, if you want to extend the post, the center column, that's all the way till the lock. And that's definitely higher than what I need. So if I bring it down to what would be appropriate for me, Probably somewhere right there without having to bend over. That is a very comfortable fit for yours truly. So if you are 
vertically challenged or not vertically challenged. I hope that gives you the perspective you need as to whether this is a tripod for you and as to whether you're going to use it mostly with the center column or without the center column. Okay, folks, so that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you're like me and you're looking for a premium tripod to upgrade maybe some of your older tripods, um, look no further than the Mr. Q. There's three different versions in three different um, diameter legs, so you can have as much or as little rigidity as you want. Um, but this is a great tripod, especially with all this versatility from the other accessories that you can mount on it. So you can go out and buy it with confidence. If you found this video helpful, hit the subscribe and like buttons for me. And uh, don't forget, I will be coming back. I'm going to do a tripod comparison. So I'll be comparing this tripod to some of the other tripods I have in my arsenal. And it'll be a really good uh, video for someone that's new. They're looking, trying to figure out, you know, what tripod should I buy? What works? What doesn't work? Um, that video will address all those things. So that's it for this one. Take care and stay safe. We'll see you next time.